to use the advanced GPT features in order to drive leads into your business. You can see the final product on the website here is this chat widget that's powered by the GPT Assist API that allows you to be able to ask questions to generate leads for your company. Hi, my name is Dylan. Follow me for chat GPT tips, tricks, and AI tools to automate your business. So I'm going to quickly run you through an example of how I've used the chat GPT's Assist API the API that plugs into the GPT features to be able to drive leads into somebody's business. At a high level, we're going to take the assist API, check a knowledge base for data, and then be able to answer questions as a chatbot to be able to lead generate. Let's review the four elements to make this happen. Prompting, knowledge base, actions, and tech stack. This will be going onto a Mindset Coaches website. We're going to use the knowledge base to identify the inner saboteurs and be able to provide an action plan and strategy to the user and then ultimately capture that user's information. We're going to be creating a knowledge base with ChatGPT to help identify these inner saboteurs. The actions are going to be asking questions to the user and then ultimately capturing that user's information. The text stack is going to be the Assist API along with Replit for the back end and VoiceFlow for the front end. Now, I know this seems like a lot, but bear with me here. You have your prompting Python file, which allows you to prompt the bot, the assistive agent part of ChatGPT's GPT functions. Here is where you give the prompt or the instructions to the assistive agent so it knows what to do. This assistant JSON allows you to create an assistant or a ChatGPT agent to be able to interact with your system. This knowledge base document was actually created by using ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to make me a document to understand and overcome inner saboteurs, and here it is broken down. I uploaded that document into the knowledge base here. That knowledge base gets called underneath the functions Python script. When you put in your open API key, that then allows the assistant agent to speak to the knowledge base. If we hit this new tab here, this is what gives us the URL to use that we can apply to VoiceFlow. So Replit here is the back end of the system. On the front end, we're gonna be using VoiceFlow as our chat interface. I was able to take the template of this VoiceFlow and then just change out the URL that we got from the Replit back end. You can see the chat bot says, hey, I'm CK, your mindset assistant, and then says I can help you find anything about your inner saboteurs. And then right here is the chat function, which allows the chat interface to go from the VoiceFlow to the back end of Replit up to the GPT assistant API and then back and forth. You can see that this says, hey, I'm CK, your mindset assistant. How can I help any questions? I want to help you figure out your inner saboteurs. I put help me figure out my inner saboteurs. It's now checking with the back end of the database, the knowledge base. After some back and forth, it comes up with me being a perfectionist and gives me an actual step-by-step -step things I can overcome it and asks me if I'd like some additional assistance further. Then asks for my name and my email. I then put in my name and my fake email and it grabs it and then sends that off. And then it lets me know that someone's going to be reaching out to my email to help me further. As you can tell, this was a lot to cover. Follow for part two, where I show you how to take this GPT-powered chatbot to put it on a website to be able to drive leads into a business.